Let me show you the materials we're going to use for this experiment today. We're going to be using an indicator today called bromothymol blue. We can also use an indicator made from purple cabbage. I took 8 milliliters of my bromothymol blue and added it to 1 liter of water and we're going to be using this solution for today's experiment. Because I'm using a chemical, I'm going to be wearing my safety goggles today. I'm using two items from the kitchen, white vinegar and baking soda. I'm going to be measuring these with my small graduated cylinder and with a scale. You can also use teaspoons to measure these items. I need two clear plastic cups. I prefer these taller ones. And I also need two petri dishes that I'm going to cover the cups with during our experiment. As long as they fit over the top, it doesn't matter what size the petri dish is. I need some small paper cups, masking tape, and some white paper. Let's put on our safety goggles and get started. The first thing you're going to do is pour equal amounts of bromothymol blue into each of the two plastic cups. One of them is going to be our experiment and one of them is going to be our control. The next thing I'm going to do is measure my baking soda. I can do it with my scale and get about two grams or I can use my measuring spoons and I'm going to use a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Half a teaspoon of baking soda goes into my paper cup. I hope you notice that my paper cup has fish on it. I've already measured six milliliters of vinegar into my graduated cylinder. That's about one teaspoon. I'm going to tape the paper cup into my experimental plastic cup. Being careful not to get the bottom of the cup wet as I tape it to the side and making sure the top of the paper cup is a little bit below the plastic cup. I'm making sure my petri dishes are close by. I'm going to add six mils of vinegar to the paper cup and now I'm going to cover both these cups. I'm going to look for a change at the very surface of the experimental cup and in order to see that change better I like to put a white background behind my two cups. You'll need to bring your eye right down to the level of the liquid. I also want to compare my experiment and my control. Are they changing? Is one changing? Let's find out. Do you see a change? What do you notice?